This is who Harvard accepted over you. That is the topic of today's video. My name is Craig Meister. I'm a college admissions coach. You can learn more about me and how you can work with me one-on-one -on -one throughout the entire college admissions process on my website, which is collegemeister.com. And if you're interested in learning about whether or not you are or your student is on track for selective college admission in the United States of America, visit areyouontracktogetin.com. Again, that's areyouontracktogetin.com, at which you will complete a free three-minute assessment. Your results will be emailed to you right away, and they will help you clarify whether or not you are or your student is on track for selective college admission in the United States of America. The headline over at the Harvard Crimson is as follows. Harvard launches new intro math course to address pandemic learning loss. That is ridiculous headline because it is a complete cover-up. This is not pandemic learning loss. This is Harvard accepting students who can't excel at math or who have not to date excelled at math and who were still accepted to Harvard. The Harvard math department will pilot a new introductory course aimed at rectifying a lack of foundational algebra skills among students, according to Harvard's director of introductory math, Brendan A. Kelly. The course titled Math MA5 will run alongside two established math courses, Math MA and Math MB with an expanded five-day schedule. Imagine being accepted to Harvard as a first-year student in the class of 2028 and being assigned to take a five-day-a-week math class, basically a remedial math class, remedial for the typical Harvard student, but not for apparently a cohort of Harvard students who were somehow still accepted to Harvard without math skills at the level of a what you would normally associate with a typical Harvard student. But they were accepted nonetheless. How were they accepted? They were accepted because Harvard's been test optional for all these years and because, let's be honest, Whoever's doing the reading at Harvard overlooked obvious signs that the students were not up to the task of basically the type of math that the vast majority of Harvard students demonstrated in their application. Why were these students accepted? Who are their parents? What did they donate? What, what are their backgrounds? I would love to know the types of students who are taking this basically math introductory course that is now a five-day-a-week course. And they obviously knew this was coming because they accepted these students and it's not like they've waited a few weeks to see, oh, how you're doing in your introductory math class. Oh, you're not doing that well. We have to figure out something. Yeah, maybe your transcript was forged or something. And now we have to figure out how to educate you at the Harvard standard. No, they knew coming in this was going to be an issue. Now, they're claiming it's, hard, it's a pandemic learning loss, but give me a break. This is not pandemic learning loss. This is students who were accepted who did not deserve to get into Harvard based off the popular imagination of what it takes to get into Harvard. But this is actually really important for you to understand. Harvard has always accepted some students who are rough around the edges, let's put it that way, academically. And maybe they weren't students who then pretended to be able to do well in math and they just went into sociology or something. But the fact of the matter is that now they have students who actually have airs about them and believe they're going into some sort of STEM area. They need to get them up to speed. And so that's why they've created this math MA5. Kelly said that students in MA5 will meet with one or two instructors all five days with a variety of different activities on Tuesdays and Thursdays. He said the COVID-19 pandemic led to gaps in students' math skills and learning abilities, prompting the need for a new introductory course. So the, uh, the other implication from that statement would be that this has been happening for a few years now. And now they're just getting around finally to creating a course to address the fact that Harvard's accepted students who in no way, shape, or form would normally be associated with Harvard. But now they sort of got to cover themselves here and actually educate them up to some standard of math. The last two years, we saw students who were in math MA and faced a challenge that was unreasonable given the supports we had in the course. So we wanted to think about how can we create a course that really helps students step up to their aspirations, he said. Students don't have the skills that we had intended downstream in the curriculum. So 
It creates different trajectories in students' math abilities, Kelly added. Despite the schedule differences, Math MA5 will reflect the material and structure of MA and MB, collectively known as Math M. Math MA5 is actually embedded in Math M, Kelly said. So if you're in Math MA5, you will experience Math M. You know, the destigmatization is the goal here from Mr. Kelly, Professor Kelly. Kelly acknowledged the difficulties that students in MA5 may face because of the course's demanding time commitment, but said the daily meeting schedule is a necessary trade-off for students' development. Five days a week does make it hard for some students' schedules, and we thought about that in the planning, but we do really think that five days a week is in the trade-off. It's going to be worth it, Kelly said. So I will just say this, S. Mac Healy and Angelina J. Parker, who wrote this for the Crimson, uh, are coming across, frankly, as stenographers for Harvard's math department. Why are the answers to questions such as, why is this happening? Why did Harvard accept such students to begin with not being asked? Well, I'll tell you why they're not being asked, because then it would boomerang back on Mac Healy and Angelina Parker, which means that maybe the Harvard classes except in recently are not exactly as impressive uh, as past Harvard classes. Now, again, like I said, this has been happening for years for certain friends and development cases and parents, children of parents or grandparents with connections. Don't get me wrong. I'm not, I'm not saying this has not been happening for years, but what I am saying is now they're, they're do, it haven't, it's happening at such an extent and the people getting accepted through such means are so unbelievably unaware of their <laughs> their math skills that they actually are attempting majors that require real math. The whole thing's ridiculous. And I just hope this edifies you as the listener, as the viewer of this video to realize that Harvard is not what it used to be. Harvard doesn't care that it's not what it used to be. That the heirs of uh, intellectual uh, acumen surrounding Harvard have been completely torn asunder at this point because Harvard is just another college accepting students that they want to be the cool kids in life. That's basically it. I mean, it's always been that way, but there was this air over a number of decade period that oh, the vast majority of Harvard students are really smart. The vast majority of students at Harvard are, are really advanced in core subject areas. They can communicate well. They can do advanced math. These were obviously uh, branding devices all the time, but now it's happened. It's sort of like Harvard has basically completely lost its way. And they're accepting so many students now who can't do basic math that they had to create a math class for them to get them up to levels that you would assume Harvard students would have by and large. Again, there's always been a handful of kids accepted to Harvard who couldn't do math, but now it's enough that they really had to create a math class for them. This is sad, so sad. Oh my goodness. Now, with all that said, I, I keep my finger on the pulse of what it takes to get into all colleges and universities. And as, a, as you can see from this video, it's not necessarily academic acumen. It's not necessarily being the very, 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 very best student. There are plenty of 1600s on the SAT and 36s on the SACT who have been rejected in recent years at Harvard for students who are now having to take a five-day-a-week remedial math class at Harvard. Congratulations, Harvard, and congratulations to you if you do not get into Harvard and you find yourself at University of Rochester with a 1600 or Case Western with a 1600. You may have dodged a bullet. Maybe you didn't. Maybe you feel like you really were cheated now out of Harvard because now there are kids getting to Harvard years now, test optionally. Now again, Harvard is going back to test required next year year. So maybe they'll get rid of this math class soon. But at least for the most recent years, Harvard has been under this test optional regime. There have been healthy numbers of students getting into Harvard who have not even had to submit a test score. So there have been plenty of kids who've been submitting to Harvard for several years now, 1600, 1590, 1580 on the SAT, who are going to vomit this morning when they listen to this video uh, because they realize that they have been rejected from Harvard for kids who are now taking remedial math at Harvard. Good job, Harvard. Good job, everyone. But let's say you want to get into Harvard and you want to know what it takes and you really hope that your Harvard application is putting you in the very best shape possible. 
Obviously, you know, I can't change your scores. I can't change your grades or the courses you took. But if you want someone to do a pre-read on your application and make sure it's in the best shape possible, you want to listen up at this point because I offer a new product in 2024, which is known as my pre-read. When you finish your Common App and you want to know if it's as strong as possible and whether or not in its current condition, your chances of admission at Harvard are impressive and conclusive or inadequate, you want my pre-read. Getting my pre-read now means having me review your entire Common App to Harvard, just like an admissions officer or an admissions committee will review it later, and receiving by email no later than the time you reserve a comprehensive report highlighting what's working and what's not on your full Common App and your Harvard Common App supplement. If you've yet to submit your Common App to Harvard, my pre-read may motivate you to make adjustments to it before your deadline. If you've already submitted your Common App to Harvard, my pre-read will prepare you for what I deem to be your likely admissions outcome at Harvard in Cambridge, Massachusetts. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. If you'd like to work with me one-on-one -on -one throughout the entire college admissions process, go to my website, which is collegemeister.com. Until next time, stay safe, stay well, and most importantly, stay stress-free throughout the entire college admissions process.